Hello there. Welcome back to more Path of Radiance. And I think we're pretty much done with our preps. We're going to take Janeth this time. Um, geez. Uh, I think I've got everybody. Let's make sure nobody got like buried in the... Uh, Um, let's just do this. Uh, there is a bonus objective that I'm going to kind of try for, but uh, it's not particularly fun to do. Um, it wouldn't be... Okay, let me just I guess, explain the bonus objective. Um, you, you can optionally keep these little birds alive by baiting Mr. Nasala over here, and then you have to... Talk to him with Janeth or Olki, and then he talks to Raisin. And then all of the birds retreat. The problem <laughs> is that the birds have a um, quite a tendency to transform and then just kind of beeline for your units. And at that point, it becomes like keeping them alive becomes fairly difficult because they um, don't really tend to enjoy being alive, as I find. <laughs> Uh, it's not great. Um, there are probably some strategies to do it reliably, but I don't really know them off the top of my head. And I'm just kind of... The reward is great. Don't get me wrong. But it's not so good that I'm willing to, like, completely... I, I don't know. Stress over it, I guess. I'm just not really going to stress over it is the uh, ultimate point, I suppose. So, yeah, probably just... Like, if I can get the objective, that's that's really rad. Cool. But if not, I'm not going to be that concerned about it. I, I do need to watch this closer range, though. I have actually considered using Janna full-time, but I don't know that I'm going to the team slots for him, unfortunately. Uh, I like Janna a lot as a character. He's really interesting. Um... I'm assuming that the ravens are just probably going to attack, right? I don't remember, like, specifically what their AI is, but I remember them being, like, yeah, they just kind of run on in. There might have been a way to uh, stay out of his range, but whatever, honestly. Like, maybe heal AI will kick in. Even then, I don't know that I can count on that, because, um... I guess the way to do it, if I want to, if like, if I okay, if I want to do this, which I'm not really super committed to, I could surround him with unequipped allies. But even then, I'm I'm kind of worried about him saying, "Hang on, uh, let me think about this." Like he's not especially strong, so. Look at Makalov, almost able to one round something. I mean, he can't, but okay, wait, no. He can do it, maybe. Eh. I am willing to try for the glory of Makalov. And he dodged? Oh my gosh, it's almost like he's an actual unit now. That's bananas. Okay, um. How does Miss Astro do in this? Nine? That's not that much. Okay, so what I think I'll do is, uh... Oh my gosh, um... Nice! Great crit. Okay. If I put Astra there, I'm under the assumption that he sh Okay, let's see about these guys. Not about strings. Okay. I'm under the assumption that he'll go for Astrid over a target that can counterattack. Um, like, as long as I keep Volca, Mist, Soren, and Raisin out of his range, I think we'll be okay. Gosh, this is so stupid. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, like, it's really, really silly, and I, I don't know why I'm even, like, entertaining the idea of trying this. It, like, it makes the chapter so much more difficult than it is otherwise. I'm really hoping that, that uh, he'll have some kind of, like, healing AI and, like, retreat, but... I would think that he would retreat, uh, and trade for a vulnerary, but I don't know. I really don't. Um, even then, he's gonna come back, so... I don't know why I am bothering with this. The, the strategy here is basically to 
bait Nace Ulta from exactly two range. Because at two range he attacks with Vortex, which is just basically wind. And he's got okay magic, but I don't think it's enough to actually damage the Sorin. Or if it is, it's not going to be by much. I do kind of, I, I do kind of want Jill like to move ahead. So who would I have take her spot? I guess Boyd. Okay, let's have Jill fly. I think I was just saying that the shepherd is gonna be faster, and then I'm like already doing absolutely nothing on it. Um, okay. Um, I can't imagine Z takes much damage here either. Yeah, Z will be fine. Um. So Soren's in range right now. We don't want that. Okay, and Miss is in range. I am like way off the ball. Oh my gosh. So if I do that, oh my gosh, I've screwed up so hard. Ah, okay. <laughs> We're fine. Okay, Miss, get out of there. Even then, I assume Volca would be fine. Right? Yeah, it's not a big deal. Um, and Jana would be fine. I, I'm really, I'm like overthinking this so hard, but I don't want anybody to die for this whenever I could easily just kill this enemy. Um, that should be fine, I think. I really have no idea what these birds are going to do. Okay, that was what I was assuming was going to happen. <sighs> Okay. Why are you getting closer to me? Uh, stop, stop it. Okay. This, but I, I can already tell you that this bonus objective is going to be like so much harder than the actual chapter, and I'm like so like prepared to give it up because it's just okay. I guess I can think of one decent strategy here. I could put unequipped Jill. Why am I doing this, dude? This is, like, so silly, and it's, like, not worth it. Um, I'm thinking if I put unequipped Jill there, then... Watch this ballista range, too. She should be able to take, like, soak up some hits. I assume. Like, they're not, they're, there's, like, almost no way they're going to damage her. It's really improbable that any of them can do any damage to her at all. Um... Let's just kind of... <laughs> this is so silly, and I have no idea why I'm trying for this stupid optional objective. Fun fact, I have never actually gotten this objective. Like, I've never even bothered to, like, really go that hard for it. So I don't know why I'm doing it, like, on a recording. <laughs> and in an Iron Man. Like, this is so ridiculous. <sighs> Let's just see how this goes, I guess... I'm hoping that the AI has some level of self-preservation and they don't go for the... They go for, like, the Jill that can do nothing to them over the, um... These guys who can. Uh... Sure. Okay, that's good. You go over there and do that. Yes, that's also good. Okay, this might be feasible if I do this. Unfortunately, it kind of involves, like, giving up chill for this chapter. Let's have Jill chill over here with her new friends. Okay, so now we just have to take care of all of these enemies without our best units. Would it be a hot take? Would it be a hot take to call Joe my best unit? Because I feel like she's definitely past Titania at this point in the game. Yay. Oh, Astrid. Good try, Astrid. You get a B- for effort. I would say A for effort, but I feel like that would be kind of overvaluing you at this point. Um, Longsword? That's not great. Nah, it's not that bad. <laughs> we'll just take it out. Ow. Oh. 
Yeah. Tell how enthusiastic I am about that this little long sword. It's like the highlight of my entire week. Um, sure. If you want to try, Magalov. Oh, duh. I was like, wait, what? Why didn't you double? Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Good, good effort, I guess. Um, make sure they don't have like a random killing edge or something. Just gonna have Jill kind of gradually move over here and just keep baiting them over that way. Um, I have no idea why I have Rob Volka. He's probably not going to be contributing a single thing to this map. Yeah, he missed. Look at her go! Yeah! She's pretty fast. I, I will continue to give her that. Um, okay, so am I worried about like any of these enemies? Like, do I need to do anything? Two of them can hit Ike. Do I care about that, though? I, I really have to watch this in a solid range and the, the ballista range because if I if I get careless then they're going to blow somebody up. I feel like my units are strong enough to take this though. I, I feel pretty confident in that. That was actually like a lot more damage than I was expecting more of him to take. I was thinking he would take none, but alright. It might actually be time to give him experience because I feel like he's kind of falling off a little bit. Oh, I didn't know you switched the axe, but all right, that's fine. Get that axe EXP. This dude is just this, look at this little diva bird. It's like I have to be at full health to do no damage to Jill. I have to. Where is that one going? No, <laughs> he's gonna ruin everything. Oh. Uh. Hey. I really wish that animation didn't take that long, but sure. Yeah, because he's about to transform. Ah, darn dude. Okay, so Jill's going to have to move back up. What's their transform range? Eights? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hit. Okay, so let's move him there and hopefully get Jill hit. Um, probably do something a little bit more accurate than the 57. Okay. Nice! Strength is his big issue, and skill his skill's not that great, so that was a solid level up, we'll take that. Um, okay. So I really don't need Misty XP that badly anymore. So I think I'll just have Rayson do his passive healing there. Instead of having missed heal. Um, hopefully this is good. This is a lot slower than I was planning to take this chapter. But I kind of at some... Where is it even going at this stage? Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, I'm kind of trying to get this optional objective, but... Uh, Okay, you're going for the healer to get healed by 2 HP. This, I'm telling you, this bird is a diva. That's just the only way I can think to explain this thing. It refuses to do anything less than full HP. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you get him, little diva bird. Um, okay. So I'm going to try to pull Jill over, th or have Jill pull them over this way. Um... I'm a little bit concerned about Okay, so I'm not in their range. So do I start baiting out the ballista? Oh my gosh, dude. I'm telling you, this would be so much easier if I just had Jill, like, juggernaut everything. Wow. Really? Ike is tankier than Morum and Titania? Like, I knew he was... Like tanky, but jeez, dude, this is a really good Ike. 
Well, his strength isn't great, but otherwise, this is a really good Ike. Like, other than the fact that he can't kill anything. Which, like, who cares about killing anything under characters? It's, it's like, so overrated, right? Uh... I feel like I'm making this chapter, like, so much more difficult than it needs to be. And I'm, I'm feeling like kind of an idiot about it right now, to be uh, totally honest. Like, I'm... I'm feeling like I could just, like, juggernaut this chapter with Jill and be done with it in, like, 20 minutes. And I've, it's going to end up taking me an hour because I'm doing all of this. Ow. That was very rude. Okay, so I can bait out the Ballista. That's solid. They only have five uses. Um... My concern, if you're curious about why I'm doing that, my concern is um, trying to take on those at the same time as uh, baiting out Nasala. Like, it's just so much... Like, if I put... I would have to put... My plan is to put, like, Sorin. Wait, what? I thought... I thought this range was, like, right here. Oh my gosh. Whatever. This is... I'm so frustrated with this, like, already. Like, I'm, like, r regretting trying to do this so hard right now. Curiosity, what is your range? Um, I mean, just see if Titania can, like, go in and take care of some of this stuff, because this is, like, getting... Uh, this is already getting, like, really obnoxious. Oh, my gosh, dude. I, I so regret even considering doing this. Do I try to bait out the other birds? I could try. Like if I have Jill go here and just go ahead and bait that out. I really hope I'm, I'm not making a huge mistake. I feel like I'm making several. It's so weird that they're going for Morum. Like Morum was like my tank, and then just out of nowhere he seemed to just fall off a cliff. No, not that he's bad, it's just, it seems like he's not like the juggernaut he was several chapters ago. Look at all of Jill's new friends. Oh, nice. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Go Jill. What are you doing? Where are you going? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't understand why this enemy is coming for me. Like, he's not transformed. If I want to kill him, I can just do it. So why are you... Oh my gosh, dude. Okay. So I'm going to kind of watch that range. Okay, so we definitely need to be cautious of this guy. So, the worst case scenario is 36? Curiosity. Is there anything else that's like really threatening in here? I feel like I could probably just have Worm kill? Eh. No, I couldn't. Um, okay. So maybe we have Titania kill. Titania can't kill. <laughs> okay, nice. Oh my gosh, dude. This chapter. Okay, let me just, like, take a second to think. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> so here's what we do. Let's just double check, like, with the spear. It would be... If if she got hit on the 37 and crit on the 20, which is pretty unlikely, then she takes 36. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and take this guy out. And then we're going to Kanto back. I was just going to have Titania 
and Morm kill that, but then there's this Laguzbo jerk standing right there to be like, hey, hey, look at me, I'm gonna kill your Laguz, and it's gonna be so funny. Um, that's totally his voice's cannon. <laughs> this situation is just so goofy. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to think if I should try to like bait out this bird as well, but let's have Jill and her friends. I'm worried about this guy getting too close transforming and then being in range to attack is like a big concern. I, okay, I don't want to be in a situation where she gets totally surrounded. Just in case something goes way wrong and I really need her. So we end, right? I feel like there is a universe where Titania dies, but it's, like, not likely. What was... Uh, what was, did you take again? Uh, that's, not, that's not great. Okay, um... If I'm doing my math correctly, even if she gets crit and gets hit on this, she should live. But I don't trust myself to do math correctly. Um, I guess it would be like, oh my gosh, that, I'm so glad that I caught that. <laughs> okay. How in the heck are we gonna get into freaking Nathalos range? Oh my gosh. This is upsetting me. I, I I shouldn't have even tried this. Like, it just feels like such a misplay to even attempt what I'm trying. Okay, good. I was, like, so anxious about that hitting and critting. I was like, oh, don't do that, don't do that. All right, what are the birds doing? <laughs> Sorry, I was like uh, double checking something really quickly. Where are you going? I don't like that. <laughs> I don't. I just don't like that at all. Okay. Oh wow, you're moving too. Interesting. Um. Okay. So we have to stay out of that range. I suppose the play would be to try to take down all of these enemies in one go. So, we want accuracy here. Cool. Again, I should be wary about this range. Which I put Titania in. Nice. Um, that's fine. I'm not that concerned, honestly. Um... You have to watch that range as well. And that range. <laughs> just everything. Let's just watch everything. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, um... I weirdly don't like this situation. And I, I feel like I'm overthinking it, though. It's just such an, like, there are so many, like, clunky ranges here. Sure. Nice. That was a really good dodge. And let's actually turn all of the ranges off and double-check they saw this range, because I definitely don't want to accidentally step into that range. That is a big no-no. Okay. Um, Z should be to do this. Oh, that's pretty rad. Okay, um... Well, 21... 
Yeah, he's fine. I'm overthinking this. It's just what's happening right now. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm just like way overthinking it. Okay. I do also need to watch these ranges, unfortunately. That's going to be really tricky to deal with. Okay, uh, you're nowhere near transforming. So... We're getting there. It's taking a while, but we are getting there. Ow. Very rude. So ideally, I would like to get rid of... I would, I would like to bait all of the Ballista uses in advance. Okay, good. Yeah, you go over there. And you go that way. Good. Just go that way. <laughs> Interesting that that enemy isn't moving. Um, Might that be XP for somebody who, I, who needs it? I could also steal this men's staff, but I don't know that I'm going to do it with all of these ranges that I'm panicking about constantly. Okay, so I want Titania to stay there to continue to bait out the remaining five, uh, four Ballista uses. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to keep an eye on this enemy. Um, I would like Jill to be a little bit closer. So, four, zero. And you're not in the blister range, so it should be pretty safe for whoever wants that kill to just go get it. Let's just have more of him do it. I feel like he's falling off. He's actually starting to get EXP now. Just, just take it out. Cool. Okay. So. So when I do this, it's probably going to have to be Soren there. Which... Obviously in that ballista range. But not in this one. So, the enemies to be concerned about are this bird... This bird... All the birds. Um... And that guy. Great. Okay, so we're going to have to bait that guy, uh, this guy out in advance, it seems. Um, shoot. Wasn't really looking forward to doing that, but it sh should be fine. 20. 16, yeah, we're, like, we're like Omega fine. That's how fine we are. I am worried about this dude, too. I, I sincerely apologize yet again for my slow play, because I feel like I always, like, I'm like, the, I'm like the slowest player in the universe at this point. I don't know if that's going to bait all of them or not. It might. If so, it's not that big of a deal, though. Okay, so let's also... Four, zero... These freaking Lugus ranges are just what's making this take so long. So let's just wait the extra turn, I guess. I'm definitely going to, again, I'm going to have to watch that one. I don't want a World War Race since anywhere close to that. Let's go ahead and move a little bit. I feel like anybody else would be fine taking a hit, but not Raisin. <laughs> like, if Raisin cannot survive anything, it's just... He's got three defense. Okay, so, let's end. I'm just gonna end. Okay, let's <laughs> <Just> end. <laughs> Yeah, I was assuming you'd transform at the beginning of the turn, but I wasn't 100% sure. I don't tend to use Lagoos that much, other than the, in this game, other than the ones that can transform at all times. So, yeah, I'm not super, super familiar with the Lagoos mechanics, unfortunately. Oh, don't get close to me. Just don't. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Oh my gosh. What in the world are you two doing? <sighs> okay. 
We're vibing. <laughs> okay, this actually poses another interesting question. I should be, I should probably be, if I'm trying to do this, okay, let me can justify my rationale here. Once you do, once you do this, these Lagoos turn into green units. And at that point, the red units will go for them. Um, so what that means is, I should probably be baiting these two enemies. That is the logical conclusion that I'm reaching. Oh, damn it. Okay, fine. More just go around. Whatever. I was going to give that to Ike, but I don't want to deal with all that. Let's just get rid of that healer. I could have, again, stolen his men. I'm very, very consciously aware of that fact. So, you transform not the next turn, but the turn after that. Alright. So, what is your range? Okay. This is so ridiculous. <sighs> I feel like I'm making this so much more complicated for myself than it has any right to be. And it's just like, okay, whatever. Um, 24 attack on 16 defense. She's like, don't make a fine. So, let's go ahead and heal her up. Just to be like, double sure. I love all these phrases that I'm making up that, like, nobody in the history of time has ever used. Like, Omega Fine and Double Sure. Uh, I'm gonna use the Spear, unfortunately. Oh, wait. I can't oh, that's a Cliff Tile? Oh my gosh, that does not look like a Cliff Tile. Okay. We're fine. <laughs> we'll figure it out. For now, let's have I continue to bait on that front. We'll have Z return to the group. And end, I guess. Oh my gosh, dude. I should have just gone for the quick clear. I should have just killed all the Lagoos. Should have pulled a Dim Dimitri, kill every last one of them. And it would have been just 900 times easier than what this is. On that note, I do probably need to have Jill start baiting this Ballista. Because yet again, this Ballista will probably shoot down some Lagoos if I, uh... Don't do that. So... But I also want to stay in range of... Okay, I, I need to watch this then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Close. Okay, so let's have Jill get in range of that guy. So he goes for her. One, two. So we're going to put Jill right here. We're going to have more in return to the group, I guess. Because I don't want... Because if he's baiting the Ballista, then this guy's going to transform and eventually go for him. And I don't think you can actually unequip his claws, unfortunately. So, Morim, you go back this way. Damn it, dude. This is so frustrating. Hmm. Now, how the hell am I going to beat this guy? Why does this have to be a cliff tile? Okay, wait. Does... Okay, so that tile works. So we're going to beat from right there. Crisis averted, kind of. I feel like this is the most boring video I've ever made. I feel like I'm taking this just, like, at a glacial pace, and I'm like, oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> it's not even English anymore. I'm just uttering random phrases, which is, like, my coping mechanism anytime this goes this wrong. To my credit, I promise you that I could have done this more quickly than what I'm doing. I absolutely promise you. Like, this chapter is, like, I, unironically, there's a pretty good chance that I could have just had Joel sh just uh, charge up this way and kill Hamasa. Like, I don't think that he's any threat to, like, anybody at this point. It's just that I kind of, I don't know, I got 
interested in the idea. Okay, I need to watch that. Um, I got interested in the idea of um, getting this stupid whatever weapon or item. Oh no! Shoot, that's bad. Okay, I definitely need to watch that. Then I unfortunately moved out of his range, which is very bad because he might actually start going for my group now. Shoot. Okay. This kind of form up. Scared of this. Coolsies. Okay, um. I don't know that I'm going to be able to bait this guy out, unfortunately. It would, it would take Jill to do it, which. Jill's kind of busy right now, so. One left on that ballista. Let's move back a little bit further. I really don't want this enemy to come towards me, because if so, it's going to get really, really messy. There sh I should be able to make healing AI kick back in, I think, but... Uh, I should have moved Jill up this far. This was a huge mistake. You know what? If one of these enemies dies, <laughs> then I'm going to just start going for the, the, the... I'm just going to, like, murder all of them and go for the, like, win, so... Not all bad. Okay, thank you. Thank you, enemies, for going for Jill. It's the intelligent decision. Alright! So, let's just make sure Jill's in range. I am... This ballista isn't that much of a concern. I just kind of wanted to get it out of the way early, but I should still be able to do most of this without that. So now the concern is this guy. So what the hell do I do about that guy? It has to be Jill. No, it, has, it, can, it can be Janif. It can be Janif. Okay. So this bliss is gone. So. 21 attack. Okay, yeah, he's like double extra fine. At this point I feel like I'm just trying to make a random crisis for the hell of it, and I don't know why. I actually sincerely forgot that Janif was like an actual unit, because he's pretty much just here for the uh, boss combo that I'm trying to get. <sighs> okay, um... Unfortunately, I might have to wait for all of these to detransform to be like super safe with this Nasala thing. When I do that, he will have, I believe, Vortex is for might. So he'll have... 21 magic on Soren's 20 res. Okay, so there shouldn't be any danger. I'm so worried that there's danger, but there shouldn't be. <laughs> nice job, Janif. I really wish you could just break their beaks. <laughs> like, like they were weapons. Because, uh, that would- okay, so unfortunately Jill is now trapped. Damn. Okay. You'll get her someday, little enemy birds. So awkward. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately I'm going to have to just wait this out, which is going to take even longer! Oh. I'm I'm just frustrated with myself for making this take as long as it is. Okay. Shoot. Okay, we're gonna have to move back. Unfortunately. Um I do not want my units in that range. Um I'm hoping that he'll go for like Mackalov or something. I like how Ike's just kind of standing there, like, awkwardly, like, hey, what am I doing, guys? Um, I should move Ike back, actually, on that note. Because, uh, it, one of the birds might decide to go for him. <sighs> Why am I freaking doing this? I should have just, I, 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 I'm, like, kicking myself up and down for not just going for the easy clear on this chapter. Like, it would have been, I would have, I'm almost positive I would have been done with this chapter already. Nice, of course you're going to cancel it out. Why wouldn't you? Okay. 
I am only slightly very frustrated, as opposed to very, very frustrated. Yeah, see, I'm worrying about that one. The fact that it has nothing to do and just kind of like roaming around right now. So I have to watch this range because he doesn't have. He currently has nothing to do, and that enemy with nothing to do will find something to do, which is probably going to be killing himself against Ike. So that is not something we want. Oh my gosh, dude. It's Okay. <laughs> I am fine, I promise. I'm at least 40% fine. <laughs> Freaking enemy just had to stop at the cliff. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I'm just doing things in a random order. Okay, good. I feel like with that pathing, he shouldn't be able to canter that far back. Yeah. Oh, Jill getting trapped there sucks. Like, if she was getting trapped, I wish it was like six or seven spaces down. Um, because if we, like, if I, if Jill were, okay, just, yeah, do your thing, Raisin, we know. Uh, if Jill were, like, here-ish and trapped, then I could start baiting out Nasol and doing all of that, but unfortunately I really can't right now. I have no idea how it's going to go with, okay, so the next question, do I need to bait out this enemy, or can I? Um... No. Interest. Okay, hang on. That's an interesting range. Okay, that's fine. So Soren's going to be right here. I think. Right? It has to be the furthest extent of Nasala's range. Because if he gets, if it's one range, then Soren's going to get torn to pieces, like absolutely demolished. Like, not even a chance of Soren surviving if, it's, if he hits a one range. If he hits a two range, it's magic, and it's not particularly threatening magic. If he hits a one range, that's a dead Soren. <laughs> so, that's a, that's kind of what we're dealing with, and what I'm gambling on. Oh yeah, I need to actually kill this enemy. So, who needs the EXP? Like, I need, somebody, I need to find somebody who's at level one promoted. Because that's kind of behind at this point. Like, Miss Drake! Um, okay, I can't walk around. Nice, great. <laughs> I feel like at this point I'm just becoming frantic because of this is taking so much longer than I had wanted it to. Don't crit. Thank you. Okay. Ah, uh, great. Oh, well, whatever. It's fine. We're not that far off of getting Ragnol. Okay, wait. Yes, we are. But... <laughs> we are kind of far off of getting Ragnol, but... Regardless, oh yeah, great. 20 feet of speed. Nice. So, so close to coming together, and I'm just so concerned about a few little details here and there, and it's like, oh my gosh. And all of this is just for one item, and I'm just like, uh, I am a hundred percent sure I could have I could have cleared this chapter already if I had just not gone for this stupid item that's not even like it's great, but it's not like world endingly amazing. So hopefully now that that one detransformed he'll move, but then okay. I need two of them to detransform and move so Jill can get away. Or I need all of them to be detransformed for whenever sort of Okay, so those two will both detransform. Let's just end. Let's just, let's just end. I'm really hoping that they move. 
I was just really trying to get Jill into that ballista range. Um, but it's not it's not crucial to this. Okay, so you're you're, you're, you're okay. Well, that's actually not great because now, shit. I I kind of worrying I'm overcomplicating this. But here's the thing: whenever these turn into green units, I am so worried that they're going to just die to these enemies. Okay, let's put Jill in the ballista range. Let's get rid of the ballista, and then that won't be. It. I am yet again going to sincerely apologize for all of this, because this is way slower than I had any intention of taking this chapter. This was supposed to be my really quick chapter that I just zoomed through with no problems, and that was going to be that. And then at some point, it was when I started recording, at some point I was like, okay, wait, maybe I can actually get this item. Why are the enemies going that way? Don't go that way! No, I don't like that. <sighs> okay, whatever. Let's just get rid of the ballista. Yeah, at some point when I started recording, I was like, maybe I can get this item. It's really useful. And then this started. And now we're just spending 45 minutes trying to position these stupid enemies who are just... I don't even think they have any AI at this point. I think they're just wandering, like, aimlessly. Two ballista shots left. Unfortunately, this enemy is going to transform again. God. Okay. We're fine. One ballista shot left. Stop going that way. Okay. Where are you? <laughs> Why are you like this? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so. Let's have Jill move right here. And then that enemy will go for her. One, two, three. I don't know, man. I, I'm just like, I'm so burnt out on this chapter. Like, I, I, I feel like I'm just like broken at this point. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no coherent strategy. Oh my god, what the heck? What? Why is Nasala moving on his own now? Um. Um. Okay, interesting fun, uh, fun fact that I'm just discovering. It seems like Nasala and all of the birds start moving after a certain amount of turns. Okay. That's something I never knew before exactly right now. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god, that's bad. That is very, very bad. Apparently after 23 turns, they just decide enough is enough and they start moving. Okay, well this, this, is, this was an entire... This is just a total, absolute miserable failure. Um, which is a very apt description of myself. So there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At, well, at this point, it doesn't even like I don't even need Sora to bait. Right? Like he's already moving. I had literally no idea that the enemies would move on their own. Like not even a remote inkling. I've never seen that happen. But I usually finish this chapter in like 10 turns, so... Yeah, this is, uh, this is doomed. There's no way. I, I, I'm going to, like, I, the, uh, the conversation will happen. But the enemies, like, with their positioning right now, no, they're just gonna get shot down. Well, this, uh, this sucks. I'm so mad. I am so mad, dude. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I failed this as badly. Where the hell is he going? It's fine, Janif can get there. It's mostly fine. The other bird might blow himself up against Janif, I don't know. Uh, uh, well, this was, this was a, just a glorious waste of time. Because the enemies are just all going to die. I'm just 100% sure of that. They're just... They're going to turn into green units and then... Whatever, dude. Not a good time for a reason to de-transform, but that's... 
98%, okay. okay. So you guys aren't in range of transforming. And you will, you should detransform. Okay, that's actually really nice. He, that enemy should detransform at the beginning of the turn. So, we talk. You, yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, out of curiosity. Ah, I'd rather not do that. So, okay, so now, assuming that I have done everything correctly, aka talking to this jerk, he should prioritize talking to Raisin. And I'm going to be so mad if the AI just said, no, it's been 23 turns, we're not doing that. One, two, three. So, the strategy is to just leave Raisin open. I am so paranoid about this all deciding to attack. And I'm pretty sure that the uh, that as soon as the enemies turn green, they're all going to die. Like, immediately. Like, it's just going to be a bird slaughter. That guy in particular, he's going to get short-axed. Okay, whatever. <sighs> I tried. Oh my gosh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Okay, he detransformed. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, we get it. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What? 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 I thought that I thought they had all had to survive for me to get it. Okay, whatever. Well, you're like super dead. You're not super dead. Okay, great. I'll take that. They are now all green units, and now they will escape. So I actually did get the night ring. So this was not a total waste of time. Just a mostly a waste of time. I get a lot of bonus EXP for this, at least. Yay! Look at them go. I'm actually really surprised they didn't immediately die. Fry it, fly free, birdies. Coolsies. I actually thought that I had to wait until the end of the chapter to get that night ring, but apparently I do not. Um, okay. So, Raisin is a pretty good user of this, I believe. So he might just get that. I don't know, it's... Like, it's fine either way. Um, okay, so now we can just kind of clear the chapter, which is, like, should be pretty smooth sailing from here, honestly. I don't know if these enemies near the boss move. Whatever, let's just... We're just gonna go for it. This is taking a lot longer than it was supposed to. So, at this point, I, it's, I'm just gonna... Clear, like this is—it's enough is enough. Um, if you're curious, you know how every time I like do stuff with like Jill, she can Canto. Now I can get that on anybody I, with this Night Ring. So that's fun. Like I can have Ike attack and run back, or Khalil next chapter once I get her. I guess I should... Okay, let's... We're gonna see if we can bait that enemy out. I don't know. <sighs> I was so sure I didn't get it. I was like 100% sure. Like, I really thought I messed it up. Well, that uh, there you go. That's the first time I've ever gotten that. Was it worth it? No. But it, I have it now, so that's a thing. I am so glad I brought Volka. Like, look how much he's done on this. <laughs> so now I guess... Okay, whatever. Um, now I guess I know. If I want to do this in the future, I guess just wait near the start for 23 turns. For these two enemies, Jill's pretty much the only, uh, the only unit that I have other than Janet who can actually get to her or them, so... What a jerk. Trying to kill that poor little unarmed Lagoos. Haha. <laughs> That's what you get. Okay, um... So at this point... Yeah, um... Let's just see if we can bait. If not, then we'd probably just beeline for Hamasa.
Nice crit. Totally unnecessary. Contributes absolutely nothing, but I'll take it. It's my ballista now. <laughs> Claim it in the name of Jill. Okay, well, at the very least, we did absolutely accomplish the side objective. <laughs> For once, we will be getting some nice bonus EXP. Oh man, it would be, it would be, okay, it doesn't matter if we had to one around that enemy anyway, but it would be funny to just trap him right in that square. <laughs> I really need some more EXP on Ike. I feel like he's kind of falling behind. Granted, about to get a big chunk of bonus EXP for having all of the birds escape. Granted, I will be losing bonus EXP for taking 90,000 turns. So, you know, it balances itself out. There is an argument to also giving race in the boots. So I try out the Kanto. It's very exciting for me. I've never gotten race in with Kanto. Boots Kanto race it. That does sound funny. He just kind of zip around and sing as he pleases. Look at him go! So mobile! Volka just absolutely crushing this chapter. Okay, so these enemies are not going to be baited. That's vaguely what I had assumed. So how does Miss Jill do against Mr. Opasa? Um... Not great. Not great at all. Ugh. Okay. Plan B! <laughs> Let's kill the enemies around Hamasa, and then we'll just kind of close it on him. Um... Shoot. I don't want to be in his range in case he decides to start moving. Let's check Titania. Ooh, fancy. Okay, um... So let's check under the assumption that he... Okay, so even if he crits, that's just dirty. Let's see if Hamasa moves. We're just gonna kind of test things. <laughs> At this point, it has yet again taken me far longer than it should ever take a single human being to complete any task to do this chapter, so we're just going to experiment. <laughs> Which sounds a little awkward out of context, but that's what we're going to do. Our plan is to experiment wildly. Okay. I was assuming that Homasa would not move, but... I also have never seen Nasala decide to move on his own, so, you know, what are we going to do with this? Okay, um, interesting. Ugh, I'm so paranoid. I'm so paranoid, like, I'm paranoid about, let me talk through my rationale yet again. Um, what I'm worried, okay, that's perfectly, that's, that's not what I really want to deal with. Um, what I'm paranoid about is Homasa deciding to see, like, if he sees lethal, then he'll move. But I feel like that's so improbable. Like, I don't think Path of Radiance AI has that. Let's just poke at him. I don't know, I shouldn't have done that. But that, that's our that's our plan. We're going to poke. Okay. Now, will you or your friends move? That's what we're here to find out. Don't want to risk that. Okay, um, let's... Let me bastard up. Let me bike up. Okay, so nobody's moving. We're just... They're just gonna vibe. Interesting. Um... I'm trying to think about how I can leave, if I can leave, if I should eke out a little bit of EXP before I finish this map, but I'm also concerned about, um, this jerk. Um, okay, so what's my most reliable way of killing him? Okay, so the spear doesn't do it. Shoot. 
Um, and the video went over an hour. Nice. This was this was like I had planned this out to be the short video. Like it was just gonna be nice, short, simple, clean. Okay. So what did you do against the gun? Um, the crit kills. Unfortunately, it's a low shot, but it's enough of a shot that I don't want to risk it. Not with Jill. <laughs> Never with Jill. A lot of these units, sure. Jill, no. Okay. Let's kill this guy. Let's just, let's start there. Let's kill that guy. I love how we're yet again falling back on Titania after all this. <laughs> okay, so we don't want to end our turn in Homasa's range. That's a big no. I think it's just the fact that I like I, it, this map has taken this long, and it's like I don't want to just stumble right at the finish line, as I am very prone to doing. So now Hamasa, okay, does he have an, like an elixir on him? Since he has no access to healing, but yes, he does. Damn it! Okay, what a jerk. I mean, that's pretty safe. <laughs> Even if she gets crit. This would be a time for the ward staff that I totally didn't bring to this chapter. Macla one shot. Okay, um. Okay, well, nice. Uh, I was gonna try to get that Astrid, but that's fine, I guess. <sighs> Probably should have killed with the skill one because I need with Jill, but... The Titania is just ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Alright, gotta, gotta Canto before I win, of course. Well, that took way longer than it ever should have. Oh my gosh. Oh, hey. Let's, this is a fun one. If you can read this quickly, then I commend you. I can read most of it. I'm actually pretty fast at reading. Somewhat, at least. I don't want to overestimate myself. Okay, let's just... <laughs> I, I, I didn't remember this conversation taking this long. Yeah, okay, it's a medallion, we get it. Bad stuff happened, yes. Got it. Oh no, our dad was a jerk. Look at him stab this random woman. Without context, he looks very bad here. <laughs> context is overrated, I find. Okay, now we can read the conversation. Yeah. I think I will hire Volka. This is like one of the funny, like the, it's one of the most unintentionally funny things in the entire series. Whenever Volka says, now I will no longer conceal my identity. And it's like, oh, okay. So what big reveal is Volka gonna have to unveil his identity? I wonder. Oh, he's going to put on a mask. Yes, he will no longer conceal his identity by putting a mask on. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, okay, we know. You're an assassin. You're kind of terrible at your job, considering how badly uh, knives suck in this game. But, you know. You do you, Volka. You do you. <laughs> what a map. Um, yikes. Yeah, 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 there's a traitor among us. Um, I don't Show me the bonus EXP. That was not that much. Okay, great. Well, to be honest, that's a decent amount. When did I earn 70,000 gold? <laughs> I mean, I'll take it, but hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, yeah, we don't care, nerd. 
Um. Iconic! Ah, uh, she's finally here! Rip everybody else in my army! Rip everybody else! She's my second favorite character in this game, and I love her, and she's amazing. I think I shall hire you, Khalil. I love that exchange, too, where Khalil's, like, shocked that Ike is a general. <laughs> because it, it also happens with uh, Largo a little bit later. Um, unfortunately, Khalil's probably worse than Soren, but, you know. She's got more speed. She's, she's actually comparable, which, that's, okay, this is why I think that Khalil, okay, look, I'm going on a total tangent for no reason. This is why I think that Khalil is a really, really good unit in this game. She is very, very comparable to my Sorin, who I've been raising all game long. And she's just out of the box. Like, just flat out, comes with Nihil, which is a really nice skill. It's not really that useful in this game. Comes with good weapon ranks. Like, she just comes out of the box. No effort required at all. And it's like, oh yay, I finally get that. It's been it's taking forever. I love this conversation. I'll let this play out. Too, I guess. <laughs> okay, well, I, I don't think this is gonna be the interesting one. This is like a their uh, support chain is like very very fun. Well, not fun. It's more depressing, but <sighs> okay, we're fine. I'm also gonna give a little bit of bonus EXP just because I feel like a few units kind of need it. But yeah, I really think that... Okay, good. He needed his strength, like, really badly. Um, I really think that Khalil is a super underrated unit. Like, I do think a lot of people kind of recognize that she's good, but a lot of people don't. And it's like... I have put so much EXP, and I've fed so many kills to the Sorin, and, like, Khalil is comparable just with no investment at all. It's kind of bumps the level ones up a little bit. I feel like not enough units got uh, EXP in that last chapter. Very nice, Boyd. Very nice. This Boyd is very, very fun. Um. Eh. Okay. Let's. That's. This is. This is taking like significantly longer than I was intending for it to. So, yes. If you've watched this far, thank you so much. It was a very messy episode, but it was kind of fun. I got a cool item out of all of that effort. That's worth it, right? I don't know who's actually going to get that in the long term. It might be Raisin, but I can think of, like... I, I can think of better candidates, too, and Clue. <laughs> might be one of them, just out of favoritism, but we'll see. But, uh, yes! If you watched this far, just thank you so much. I really do appreciate it a lot. Like, it... it I, the views aren't great, but every one of them means a lot to me, and so thank you so much. So, yes, hopefully I'll catch you in the next one, and have a great day!